I'd have known, I would have kept him. I would have kept them both. I'm sure you would have, but sadly, what is done is done. What happened to him? Shortly after the birth, I went to join our mission in Nigeria. And when I came back, I was told he'd been taken in by a family in Ireland. So that's it? He's just handed over like an unwanted dog? Oh, I did say he was unwanted. I'd have wanted him. Did you give him a name? Yes. We called him Luke, after the evangelist. But, of course, when people adopt babies, they sometimes rename them. Luke. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. But you must know more. Paperwork, letters, something that can tell me where he was taken. I'm sorry. You let someone steal a baby and all you can say is sorry. Why are you still doing it? No, 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 don't touch half his things. I only got him a present. We'll just, just leave it there. We were just waiting for you two. For what? Well, we wanted to see baby Arthur before we left, that's all. Can I? I'll be careful, he'll be all right, I promise. Yes? Yeah. Only you, Uncle Toddy, no, yeah. no one else. No, no, just me. There. Oh, look at you, eh? You're our future, you are. Look at uh, eh? Oh, he's got your eyes. <laughs> well, ain't this a pretty picture? I wouldn't trust her with Arthur Stace, no. Cos she, she nicks babies from their mums. It wasn't like that, Stace. Yeah, I, I had a son called Luke, right? And she kept him a secret from me. She betrayed me. No, no, no. Oh, no. Give, give him no, a right. Give him the give him Hello. You're a liar. You're a liar. When Alfie gets back, we're getting out of here. Oh. Where are you going to go? What about the kids? I would tell you if my life depended on it. Quiet, quiet. Don, Don was right. You, you two have to go. You have to get out. Please. Get out. Oh. Get that. Oh. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <coughs> I can't. I can't. Look, you might be all right. You don't know that. No, you don't get it. I'm not ready. Look, you're never going to be ready, Cat. But if something bad did happen to Charlie, then these next few minutes, well, they're really important. Do you want to live the rest of your life and then you passed up that chance? Hmm? Okay. Dad. You're back. I'm sorry that I ran off. I got scared. I'm just a coward, as always. <laughs> you, a coward. Strongest later going. Oh. No, I'm not. So proud. Okay. Listen. Oh, find your son. That helps Daisy, her sister. Uh, no, brother. No, no. Yeah, her brother Kyle. No, Sarah. Sarah? Well, she's got a sister and all. There were three daughters, no son. Oh. Dad, are you sure? Certain. Oh, give me a second. You see, Brian... Brian asked me to be godfather to Sarah. And I said, it, it, it wouldn't be right. I didn't know what to do. I've never known what to do, Cat. Oh. Dad. Dad, it's okay, it's okay. Just keep breathing. He collapsed. Sorry. Just stay 
Lizzie was looking for you. No, no, I've just picked Lily up from her party. You haven't seen her. Little Kathleen. That's Lily, Charlie. That's Stacey's little girl. Lily, don't be scared. He's just happy to see you. <sighs> Give him a smile. The ambulance is here. Yeah. Did you get that? All right, I'll go and let him in, yeah? Uh, Sharon, do us a favour. You just put Lily in her room. Yeah, yeah. Come and show me where it is, darling. Come on, Dad. She's going to be fine. They're here. They're here. Oh. Look after him all. Oh. oh. I love you, Kat. Oh, Dad, I love you. I love you so, so much. I love you so much. And I forgive you. I do, Dad. I forgive you. <laughs> He's not breathing! <laughs> oh, no, no, I've got to do! Oh, no. Hurry up! Oh, thank goodness you're here. Huh? What's he doing here? Why is, why is he here? Uh, I bumped into Dot outside. Well, I was worried about you, Stacey, the way you was talking about Arthur. Oh, you don't have to worry anymore, Dot. I've protected him. He's safe now. Uh, uh, of course he's safe, little dear. You OK? Dot said you were upset. Well, yeah, yeah, of course I'm upset. My nan, my uncle, Charlie, every, everyone's trying to take him, even your mum. My mum? Yeah, I just, I just just saw her outside just now. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What did she say? Well, it, it doesn't matter now because I know he's fine. What do you mean he's fine? Well, I've, I've, I've baptised him. I, I couldn't wait for Reverend Stevens. I had to do it now, Doc. But, but you can't do that, Stacey. Why not? Well, you have to be one of the clergy. What, so it doesn't, it doesn't count? So, so, so God won't look after you. Oh, whatever's going on out there. <laughs> we have to go, we have to go. He's <laughs> in here. Yeah, he's called Charlie. Okay, thank you. <laughs> he stopped breathing a few minutes ago. Hello, Charlie. Can you hear me? Don't breathe, just breathe. <laughs> No pulse, no breathing. Confirm cardiac arrest. Let's get the defib attached. What's his medical history? He's already had two heart attacks and a stroke. Okay. Are you both family? Yeah, yeah, I'm his daughter. Would you like to go and wait in the other room? No, I'm staying. Come on, Dad, come on. You can breathe. Please, just breathe. Come on, oh God, please. He's still an asystolic arrest. There's no output. Because there's no rhythm, we haven't been able to defibrillate his heart. I'm so sorry, but it's bad news. He's died. <laughs> I'm gonna go check on Lil. I can see Stacy. I'll go and talk to her. <laughs> you sure? I could go. Look, it's probably best that she is it from Cat. But you know how to handle it. <laughs> Well, Charlie promised that we'd be safe. He said it would be okay. Stace? Where have you been? I said to get Martin. What's, what's happened? Why, why are they locked? He's dead. Dad's dead. No, no, no. I'm so sorry. He's gone. No. It's OK, I've got you. We're safe. We're safe up here, away from all the scary people. Look up there, look. God's watching. He's coming for you. Where to, love? Don't be scared, Stace. It's just me. Oh. 
What's happening, Ada? I don't understand. I'm confused. I know you are, love. It's your illness that's talking. It's not you. What? You need to go home. They love you, Stacy. They'll look after you. You can trust me. So, Albert Square, hmm? Yeah, I just wish I knew where Stacy had gone. I'll call Martin again. Martin, anything? Just keep looking, yeah? Okay, I'm so sorry I wasn't here. I was okay. I am okay. I'm okay. You don't think she's... Do what? I don't know. You hear about these women. These women? They... This is Stacey we're talking about, mate. I, I, I didn't mean anything. But do you know anything about bipolar kush? Because I do and... Mother's arm and their children, mate, is, is rare. It's like... Off the charts, rare. That's good. Well, that's good then, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. No. I didn't mean to upset you, Mike. She's not going to answer you, okay? Yeah. Well, I'm not ringing Stacy. Uh, can I report missing person? Uh, my girlfriend. Uh, about an hour ago. No, hang on. Look, you, you don't understand it. She's vulnerable. She's bipolar and. She's just had a baby. And I... I think something's happening. Something bad. That'll be eight quid, love, please. Where's Uncle Charlie? That's eight quid. So you realise there are so many things that are out of our control. What can you do? You just gotta go with it. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm just such a weird day. I was just dropping Jade home and then <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we uh, better get in before that comes our way. I'll see you later, yeah? She's right. She's right, you just have to go with it. We have to get me somewhere safe. So that no one can get you. It'd be easier for your daddy to see us. Um, are you hungry? No, I can't eat. There's loads to do. I can't tell you how much it means having you help me. I'm just, I'm just making a plan because the devil will be back and we need to be a bit more prepared. Let's stay some. You know, I promised you that they'd never take Arthur away. I, I just, I just need you to promise me something. What? No more roofs, yeah? Just keep your feet firmly on the ground from now on. Up that cat's sister Belinda. You see, I thought Stace might want us hello. And to be honest with you, a cat could do with a reinforcement. She's, she's asleep, mate. Yeah. I, I just don't, don't want to wake her. Oh, mate, it's a cool sign to stay. Cat's really cut up about Charlie. Yeah, yeah, Stace is upset. So just, that's why I don't want to wake her up, you know. Yeah, I don't understand. Excuse me?
up to your standards, was it? The Kazi. Are you ready to go, Nan? Neville can't find a parking space. Lucky we were close by when you called, when I waited for Masonic do. Of course you were. So, come on, then. What was it you were shouting at him about? Doesn't matter. Well, we can always put it on his death certificate. Calls it death, Cat Slater. Hey, her name's Kathleen Moon. Linda, I know you're hurting, but you've got no right to talk to her like that, OK? <laughs> Every time I spoke to him, some drama of yours weighed heavy on his mind. Well, sorry my life ain't as boring as yours. You never showed him any love. Oh, stop it, you two. He was everything to me when we were little. Before... Before what? Before Uncle Harry? That was 30 years ago, Kat. Aren't you over it yet? He should have passed away with a smile on his face. <laughs> Sat round our pool, <laughs> glass of scotch in his hand, watching the sunset. He loved Lanzarote, didn't he, Nan? He loved the peace. <laughs> but he never had a bit of peace with you around. None of us have. Oh, what do you know about it? You only turn up here when you want to rub the rest of our noses in it. What do you think you look like, dressed like that? Turn old Nev on, does it? Flash him your bingo wings, your visible panty line. Yeah, that's right. You belittle me. It doesn't alter who you are or what you've done. Yeah? You want to ask her what she's done? God, it's always someone else to blame, isn't it? Never you! And if it turns out to be postnatal depression, at least you know. No, I ain't postnatal depression. It's like... Oh, the complete opposite. But you don't know that until you make the call, as soon as the funeral's over. What is she going to get for a funeral? You should have seen her this morning. Can you stop her from going? If I had a tranquilizer gun. I mean, like, she thinks she's going to get some kind of message from God in the church. Now, if you can't stop her without a fuss, you've just got to support her through today. Is Jean going to be there? Oh, God, yeah. Now, don't worry about what she's going to say. She knows Stacy. She knows how to help her. Look, we can get her through this funeral. But this has to be a wake-up call, Martin. When someone's as ill as she is, you can't just sit back and let it blow over, all right? She needs help now. And what if she doesn't want help? Then you have to get it anyway. How can I do that to her, son? She trusts me. Martin tried to trick me, but I can see. I can, I can see what he is now, and he... So why didn't I see it? I'm just stupid. It's stupid. Arthur, we have to leave. We have to leave. We have to go to the church. She's safe at the church. They're, they're, they're going to try and stop us, but we have to be brave. We have to be brave. On the table. Stacy. Stacy. protects him. That's what you said earlier, wasn't it? What are you protecting him against? Me! I can't... I'm on your side, Stacey. You know that, right? Look, and you know that I... You know that I love you. Look, 
I'll, um, I'll get Lily. To get to the church, we have to be brave. It's safe in the church. When I was little, I was a daddy's girl. He was my hero. I just wanted to be with him day and night. Anyway, one day I was sick and I couldn't go to school. My mum was busy, so I ended up going to work with my dad in the cab. And I sat on the passenger side and I made a seat out of pillars. And he wrapped me in a blanket. <clears throat> and we just drove around all day, picking up fares, went over the Thames, through the tunnel, just singing stupid songs, laughing and talking. Well, of course, after that, I kept trying to pull sickies all the time, but my mum got sus. Anyway, a few years later, I went out in the cab with him again, but it wasn't the same. I got bored, he got irritable, and we just argued. What I'm trying to say is... <sighs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, but my dad was everything to me. And I couldn't love anyone as much as I loved him. But we drifted apart. Some of it was my fault and some of it weren't. But now he's gone. And what I would give to be ten years old again driving round in my dad's cab forever and ever. My cousin Stacy, she was talking about her little boy earlier and she said she, she just wants him to feel safe, warm and happy. That's how my dad made me feel. Safe, warm and happy. There's only two men that have made me feel like that. And one of them's gone now. And the other one... I only knew him for three hours in Magaluf. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Anyway, Charlie, my dad, I miss you. And wherever you are, I hope you're safe, warm and happy. Charlie. To Charlie. I don't know how, how to make you trust me again. I don't know how to make it right. We should keep seeing things that, that nobody else can see, Stace. It's real. You saw the devil. That wasn't the devil. That... She's a weird kid. No, you, you don't see what I see. You keep saying that. So tell me, what, what do you see? When you look at me, what do you see? Look at me, Stace. No. Please. No, Arthur says that's, that's how you'll do it. That's how you'll get inside my head. Stacey, look at me. Please. There's no devils, no demons. It's me. Can you see me, Stacey? Can you see me? See, that's good. Then I, I can see you. I see you and my boy. And I love you. I love you both. <laughs> and if I wanted to hurt you and Arthur, I wouldn't be able to cross this line, would I? And you know that, right? Stacy. But if I can, that has to mean something. That means that you were wrong. It's just me, Stace. It's mine. I was sure. I was so sure. It's okay, Stace. It's Okay. Um, am I? 
Am I ill? Oh, I just want to feel safe. And you can, just just not here, not anymore. But then I have to have to go. Where do you want where do you want to go? I have to go to the church. He'll, he'll tell me where's safe. He's got a message. No, 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 no. The, the church and and any safer than here. I just want to feel safe. I'm so scared. Please help me. There is somewhere. But you have to trust me. Do you trust me? I don't know. I, I think so. I think so, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just, I just want to feel safe. OK. Then we have to get you to the hospital. It's, it's the only place that's safe now. For you. Especially for Arthur. Do you understand? He can stay with me. You, you promise me that he, he can stay with me. I promise. And it's safe. Yeah. Do you want me to take you then? Martin's got it all in hand. She'll be okay. Well, that's just it. I don't think she will. I think she will be only. Really don't think. So she sends her love. Oh, <laughs> thanks for bringing her in. It's all right, <laughs> this place, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. It's not home, but. No. <laughs> I lost the tooth and the tooth fairy didn't come. <gasps> oh, darling. Well, maybe, maybe she might come tonight. She has to come on the first night or it won't count. We're going to have to have a word of that tooth fairy, aren't we, eh? The first thing I do when we get home is put in a complaint to Fairy Headquarters. You're right. You'll be cuddled up on the sofa with your big sister and your daddy and your uncle Kyle. Won't that be good, eh? What's up? Uh, what's happened? Oh, I thought she was going home. Oh, it's nothing to worry about. It, it happens sometimes. That's all. Go back inside. I was so abrupt before. Oh, don't worry. You had your hands full. So is, um, is Rachel back for good, or...? We've talked about how setbacks are common. Doesn't mean she won't be back with her family soon, just like it won't mean that if you have a wobble. A wobble? <laughs> you make it sound like it's nothing. This is my second chance. I can't afford to mess it up and be back in here. That's the point. It wouldn't be messing up. It's all part of the process. No, you don't get it. Martin and the kids, they need me at home. They need me strong. I, I can't mess it up and come back in here after five minutes. You won't. You're ready for this, Stacey. We're here if you need us, but we wouldn't suggest you go if we didn't think it would work out. Here they are. 
So, are you ready for me to take them off your hands? <laughs> I think they're going to have a party when I get out of there. <laughs> uh, I'll get my coat on. You can put Arthur in the cough seat. Yeah. Has he gone off? Just. <laughs> I think he's teething. Oh, it'll get easier with Arthur. Or is this not that? Don't you worry about Masood. It was too soon. He wasn't even on my list. Nor were you, actually. I'll show you. Here, look. You've done all that already? That's brilliant. <laughs> Next week, I'm going to try picking Lily up from school. Mm. Kyle's going to get her today. Do you think that Mass will ever forgive me? You leave Mr Huffy Puff to me. Mr what? Huffy Puff? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to give him a cuddle? Really? Yeah. <laughs> Just... you concentrate on you and your family. Nothing else. Cos that's all that really matters. <laughs>